Welcome back everybody, this is Squiggles the Eyes here, and my name is uh, Sargon. So, what to do, chicken boo. Um, so, <sighs> I did some exploring, and um, I remembered that, it took me a second to remember, because I found this area of the map, before I had the grappling hook unlocked and I completely forgot about it. Um, and so here we are, we're doing it. And I ended up finding this hermit in here. Um, and this hermit just said, ah, I remember you. I hold you when you are much younger. And then Sargarn just now replies, you must have me confused with someone else. Hmm, but it was you that spark in your eye. I'm sure of it. And you seem perfect for my challenge. Sure. Were you expecting me? Anyone passing by, really. A perfect place to issue a challenge, don't you think? I'll release three magical bells, you see. High above, where no one can reach except it takes patience, awareness of patterns, and ingenuity. Maybe... Mm, there's no one skilled enough for this. Never mind. <laughs> I survived Mount Karth. Try me. Hmm. Impressive. If you do this, I'll throw in a reward, too. Well... Are you skilled enough? Yep. Excellent. Indeed. Show just how capable you are, young one. Ready? I wonder if that's a reference, because I think you had to capture... Didn't in Naruto, you had to capture a bell and whatnot? Um... Okay, but yeah, I remembered this last minute, and I decided I would come over here and just do it off camera. And then, uh, because I had put a, a thumb mark over here, and I was like, well, let's go see what that is. And so I came over here, and I was like, oh yeah, I never finished this area. So I figured I would come over and do it. And now we're doing this challenge. I don't know if I really even care to want to do it. So you're leaving? No, I just saw you push something over here, you nimrod. Gosh. Whoops. Oh my god. I gotta I gotta be careful of this. No! Oh. I hate you, old man. The day that you die will be the day I laugh at your funeral making me do this platforming bullshit.
Do I have to get all of them at once, or can I just drop this one the fuck off? Ugh, please don't tell me I have to get all of them. Oh. Really? That is like not fair. I might want to do the top one first. I didn't see one up there. All three magical. You have what it takes. Shut the fuck up. I need to figure out what how the right side's being done too. I already know how to do the left. And I, I know how to make it up top. I don't know where I'm supposed to go up top. A chewy. Oh no. Or basically the same. Oh. 
for me, it's going to be figuring out how to do the, um... Oh my god, this is terrifying. Oh my god. Use was a punk! Oh my god. I told you I was skilled. So you did. And a great demonstration at that. All three. Hand them over. You've earned a sense of accomplishment. And then some. Oh. The third son. Ooh. Before venturing aimlessly through the labyrinth of Mount Koth, I held the esteemed position of a doctor. Not just any doctor, but the finest in Persopolis. Oversaw the well-being of Thomeria's offspring, not a small task for a non-Persian, coming from a modest upbringing. Queen Thomeria's had three sons, all of whom I delivered and took care of. The first one succumbed to a strange ailment at the age of 12. Based on my analysis, I suspect it's poisoning. Not particularly surprising, as royals often engage in the practice of poisoning one another. The second son met his demise at the tender age of 9, and he fell from the rampart of the castle. Attended to his care for three days before he ultimately passed. However, it is the story of the third baby that remains the most perplexing mystery of my life to this day. It is the source of my ongoing misery. I attended the birth and delivered Thamiris' third son, a healthy baby boy with a strong bone structure, the epitome of a future king. Yet the next day when I returned for his routine health inspection, I noticed something profoundly peculiar as I cradled the baby in my arms. I saw it was not the same child. The weight, the bone structure, nothing matched the infant I had delivered the day before. This was an entirely different baby. I can assure you, having delivered over 100 babies throughout my career, that I know what I'm talking about. When I raised my concerns and questioned the Queen about this discrepancy, she dismissed my inquiries, insisting that only a mother can confirm the identity of her child. I must confess, I had never seen her so enraged before. However, being a man of science, I refused to let the matter rest without an explanation. I knew she was lying. I persisted, pushing for the truth, but her anger only intensified. Within minutes, the Queen's guards apprehended me and banished me from Persopolis. I was swiftly escorted to Mount Koth with no opportunity to bid farewell to my family. I was imprisoned within the confines of Mount Koth to ensure that I would never share this tale with anyone. I'm convinced that the true origin of the baby holds the key to this enigma. Could the Queen have exchanged her child at birth in an attempt to conceal it from everyone? What could possibly compel a queen to engage in such deceitful actions? Olaf, Osteris, former doctor of Persopolis. So I, I mean, I'm the third son, probably. Um, all the lore is saying that, so I kind of already surmised it myself. Um, God damn it, I have to get the fuck back here, don't I? Uh, yeah, but am I switched at birth and was lost? That's uh, oh yeah, so these are the guys that I think you need to teleport down to the uh, thing all the way down here. 
and uh, yeah, right into this area to unlock this fifth chest. In case anybody had missed it when I mentioned it earlier, because I did a lot of stuff off camera, I went back to try to solve that one. But you don't have the ability to do the pocket dimension until after the fact, so it didn't ever occur to me when I was down there because I kind of already freaking forgot about it. Until that moment, and there's two big statues in the background that tell you how to do it. Wait a minute. I was just... I was just thinking. I got four pieces of fucking... Oh, shit. Oh. My bad, dude. Here. Blessings of Shamshir. Fuck it, yeah. I'm done. This whole process takes too long. I was just gonna like spin all my stuff until I ran out, but I'm cool. Oh, go ahead. Alright, um, yeah, you know what? We've got this whole other area to explore. Oh, lordy. I got, I got a lot to do, don't I? Alright. So, I guess we gotta go here. First. Well, I don't really need... Well, just... Okay, well, let's go down here. Alright. The commoner and the king. All right. Checkpoint is here in case I want to kill myself and fast travel back. Which I will guarantee you. Oh my god. That's what I'll probably end up doing. Oh. Oh lordy. I am actually losing patience with all the platforming. 
Oh my gosh. So what I'm trying to do is not that. I keep on wanting to shoot my bow. Okay. I think that makes what? Uh, one more left. Not today, Jesus. I do not want to be saved. Oh. They call me Slick Rick. Interesting. Oh, that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. No, it says I still got two more. Well, that's all for this area. Except for, I haven't... Yeah, I haven't been up in the royal corridors yet, so that's supposed to be where the last two are. Anything? Nope. I deserve that. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. You got me there. You got me there too.
Well, I wasn't ready for that, sir. Oh, maybe I should have saved those. Whoa! I didn't... Oh look, dung. I needed to do that anyways, didn't I? I needed to come down here anyways, that's what I meant to say. And then the other one must be down here somewhere. Pass all that nonsense. Wait, is this the way I actually go? Yeah. Wait. Do I have to? Oh, is because am I, I? I left the area earlier. Where was the first gong at? Was it up here? Gong is highlighted on here. Wait a minute. Maybe they're both done, but the, it's the it's the gold one that's not actually highlighted. And I was thinking of it the other way around. Hello. It's me, Giovanni. I want to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. This is Xerxes bullshit. Oh, cool.
That's that's all three. I just did all three guns. confused upon divine instruction from our supreme deity Ahura Mazda the enlightened prophet Zarathustra has received guidance on the rightful manner of disposing the mortal vessel when the Persian citizen leaves the world of the living they deserve respect and honors for their soul to cross the bridge of Shun Shinvat their body must first be freed from its carnal envelope the body is placed in the open air in a tower of silence at high altitude Birds of prey strip it all of flesh. After the evisceration of flesh, the remaining bones shall be purified by the ardent caress of the sun's rays until dissipated and rendered a gleaming white. Then they may be gathered and, and deposited within the sacred uh, ossuary. Bone reference to the celestial guardians for the laws hold dominion on all of us. Gaze upon their celestial dance, guiding our rituals and customs. Do I have to open it from the other side? You know what I was about to do. Father, 30 years have passed and I'm still lost. I seek your guidance. I wish I knew your hardships of being a righteous king. I wish I had your courage. I hope I can be half the king you were. May you hear me and see me as I ascend. Sargon, have you come to pay your respects? I'm here for you, Varum. Kings don't have friends, and you won't give me your powers. Where does that leave us? We're always in each other's path. Then I'm sure you will find me again. If I have to fight that ninja chick now. Once more, 
protects my son. Well, I'm technically your son too. Okay. Okay. You got me there. You got me, man. You got me. Um, did you though? Oh, so you gotta stay in the air for that. Ahura Mazda, lend me strength to defeat those who wish harm to Persia. If we are the righteous, give me Hazmish. Sacred. You shall not interfere with my son's destiny. You got me there, bro. I got you, homie. Akuna Matata.
Oh man. Come here, come here. No, I kind of forget that I do have the capacity to parry her. Damn, I was about to lay it on him. <laughs> <laughs> 